Uh, today I'm demonstrating spot toning. And spot toning is uh, after, uh, after you make a print, you can correct flaws uh, that are visible to the audience. Dust, lint, things like that that land on the film and they're opaque and so when light passes through them they stay white and those uh, are very distracting to the audience so we want to hide those. So that's called uh, spot toning. Um, what I typically do is, as always, fix a print for a minute, bring it out and evaluate it. If you look at a print and it's got a handful of dust spots, then that's what spot toning is for. If it's filthy, just covered with you know, 30, 40, 50 dust spots and pieces of lint and a fingerprint, whatever, that's when I would go back, grab the negative, bring it out, clean it, dust it, and then reprint it. You can go by the existing test strips uh, numbers. Um, but if you do realize, eh, there's a couple dust spots on this, and I'll show you when we zoom in uh, on the print, then you just spot tone it, okay? So there are two boxes up here on the spot tone table. Uh, one will have a stainless steel tank that you can put water in. This is the actual spot tone. It is a liquid that has been dehydrated, so we can rehydrate it with the water. Uh, and then the more water we add to it, the lighter it becomes, and the more pigment added to it, the darker it becomes. There are three sets of brushes. There's the one zero, which is the largest of the brushes, uh, the two zero, and that is the, in the middle, and then the three zero is the smallest. Make sure that you check when you pick them out because kids put things in the wrong place, and it should say two dash zero, slash zero, and so that's uh, the proper brush. If the brush looks to be frayed out or flayed out or anything like that, let me know, and I can uh, trim off some of the bristles with um, an X-Acto knife and these goggles that I use, so that's what I will do. So, all right, I will zoom, we're going to zoom in now, and you are going to uh, watch this demo. Okay, all right, so you want to wet the brush, and then I'm trying to cover that spot, so I'm going to, it's kind of an in the middle light gray, I'm going to grab a little uh, the spot tone and rehydrate it. I'm spinning the bristles so they go into a point, and then I'm checking to see where that is. That is too dark, so I'll add a little bit of water to it. Now I want to be careful that I don't pick up too much water where I put a big droplet down. Okay, now that's fine because that's uh, pretty big, and it's still too dark. That's probably pretty close, so. We'll zoom in. Ta-da! Let's go to another one that's darker. All right, so then this one is darker. Too much. Way too dark. Sometimes I will squeeze out the water and then pick up just a little bit and that's too light so you're gonna have to practice that looks pretty good all right uh, if you wanted to get a true black The only way to get a true black is to rehydrate and get a lot of spot tone. And that's how you get those blacks. Okay. All right, so that in a nutshell is spot toning. It's a skill you need to practice. Uh, take, a, take your throwaway prints, your first couple prints. Uh, that were covered with dust because we didn't clean them in practice. And just sit here and give it a shot. Uh, 
key things to keep in mind is always stay inside the lines just like coloring uh, you can always go darker so uh, once you put down a dark spot though and, and it dries it's there so there's not much you can do about it so don't make it worse by taking a white dot and making it a dark dot a dark dot because either way it's a it's a flaw on the print that the audience is going to look at and go what is that so we're just trying to hide those flaws um, because it's not a perfect uh, medium and uh, Hide them from your audience so when you present a print to your whoever owns the dog, they will be not distracted with dust and lint. And uh, that's it in a nutshell. So watch this over and over again. And uh, again, I demo in class and I'll be happy to sit down with you and help you. Alrighty. Cheers.